A recurring image in many parts of the developing world is the pollution of rivers purely due to industrial waste. Bangladesh's Burhi Ganga is one such symbol of malaise running through the region. Mohammed Jahid calls the Buri Ganga River along which he has grown up his mother. The name itself means aged Ganga. He started working boats here when he was in his 20s, when the river was a lifeline for the capital city of Dhaka. In so many ways, he says, life and living have gone downhill in the last two decades. <laughs> That time the water was clean. We could eat and bathe in it and the water has become dark. This time of the year about 80% of us face trouble with our eyes. Our eyes become red, swollen and we can't see properly. Jayad is among hundreds living along the banks who look at the Buri Ganga for a livelihood. Change came in the name of development. The river, its flora and fauna, everything has given away too little more than a stagnant rot. This is the place of birth of my father and myself. About 20 to 30 years back, this river water was good. I used to catch all different kinds of fish. Now the river has become polluted due to discharge from urban and factory waste. Now there are no fish in the river. Bangladesh today prides itself as being the world's second biggest garment exporters after China. The industry booms. But there's been a huge flip side. Untreated sewage, byproducts of fabric dyeing and other chemical waste from mills and factories located close to the river. They flow virtually uninhibited into the Buri Ganga. Polythene and plastic have piled up on the riverbed, making it shallow and forcing the river to change its course. Corrective pressures from activists remained mired in local politics. All the solid waste from the industries, from the hard bazaars as well as from the households, there is not a single uh, waste dumping chain is available or provided by the city corporations. So that means all these riverine communities, they are discharging their solid waste to, the, uh, to this river. So uh, the solid waste and plastic pollution is happening on the river Buriganga. There are 250 sewers that empty into the Buri Ganga. A water treatment plant remains overworked or underused. A 1995 law making effluent treatment plants mandatory is flouted, often openly. Yes, there are regular inspections and checks, but implementation of any rules remains short-lived. Bangladesh's Buri Ganga is an emblem. The problem finds echoes in water bodies across the region and beyond. Development doesn't always mean that things get better.